on the show, you saw Boaz answer a financial trivia question, and he got it right. So no pie in the face just yet. I don't know why I'm rooting for a pie in his face. I know. It seems I know. cruel, but I am. All right, let's head back to Cranberry, where Boaz is hanging out today. He's at Clearview's new financial center, and Boaz, so far your face has dodged the whipped cream. Yep. Uh, I, I don't know yes, why. I'm kind of right. rooting against you a little bit, Boaz, because we just want to see this. <laughs> Well, this is where we differ here. See, I am pro no pie in the face, and you are obviously pro pie in the face. But so far, I've answered one question correctly. There are two more questions to go. I'd say I'm feeling pretty lucky right now. I've got Megan over here who's about to ask question number two, okay? I'm ready. Go ahead, Megan. Okay. Question number two. Mm -hmm. What percentage of people say that by setting financial goals for themselves, they end up feeling better about their finances after just one year? After just one, one year. year. Wow. Okay. Well, oh yeah. Yeah. Give me the options. So we have A, 25%, uh -huh. B, 42%, C, 67 or D, 83%. Okay. Well, I would say certainly when Brooke and I have had financial goals, whether that's planning a trip or buying a house, I mean, certainly setting those goals make you feel more in control, they make you feel better. So I would say, what's the highest number? That's D, D 83%. Okay, well, I will say, hopefully Heather and David are feeling the same way right now. I would say D, 83%. Unfortunately, that is the right answer. Oh, I was really wanting to pie. No you, but yes. pie, pie, yes. free still. Okay. D, 83% is the correct answer. Um, and we've mentioned many times how important it is to set financial goals for yourselves. Whether you're just looking to save up for a big purchase or yeah. your goal is to save up and pay off debt, um, to successfully achieve these, you need to have um, good, strong money habits yeah. and a personal budget. Um, so with the year quickly coming to a close, uh, we definitely recommend reflecting on the goals that you set for 2024 so you can start off 2025 on the best financial foot possible. Yeah, start the year strong. I am feeling pretty good about my financial savviness right now. Like, David, Heather, I don't know if you want to switch up the game now, but let's forget the pies. Let's get a dunk tank full of venomous snakes <laughs> for the last question. Whoa. What do you think? Oh, I don't know if we have that in the budget. Uh, um, we'll have to work. I don't know where to find a dunk tank full of venomous snakes. What was that show, Fear Factor? <laughs> also, she set us up. The I unfortunately, <laughs> right. that's correct. We totally <laughs> thought, like, he's going to get it. Yeah. All right. Megan's mess messing with you. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got one more round of financial trivia to get through. We're going to see if Boaz survives the finale in just a bit. Unfortunately, it's just whipped cream. It's not a dunk tank of venomous snakes. Um, right. Maybe yes. next time. We're going to call our people. <laughs>